there are trades to be announced. There are trades to be talked about. The speculation is running rampant. Let's talk about anything and everything NHL trade deadline right now as we count down to the NHL trade deadline here on Teal Town Live. And with that, good af- or good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, depending on where you are in North America or all over in the world. The NHL trade deadline is less than 25 minutes away. The Sharks are already busy, and they might be doing some more. So if you want to be part of the show, chat with us on the YouTube chat, on the page, or the app. Of course, follow us on all of our social medias. Find everything at tealtownusa.com. If you want to support the pod, of course, hit us up. At the Venmo donation, at Teal Town USA, or in the super chat going on. And with that, Jules, what's up? What's up? We we kind of discussed the Anthony Declare trade last night on After Dark. That's a separate video as well. There is another trade that involves Redeem Shimmick, but you found something that JD just put out not too long ago. Um, yeah, I think the Sharks just sent down Krona and Bordalo to the AHL. That doesn't mean they're up to something. It just if the Barracuda suddenly make a playoff push, they can send those players down to help the Cuda make a push. Right. That's basically all that means. But like it, it could be a transparent move into something else because I think the Sharks are going to move Barbie. It, it's been sounding that way. Right. Uh, oh, hearing Matt Dumba has been traded to Tampa. All right. Ooh. All right. So we're getting a lot of a lot of movement going on. Um, nothing earth shattering. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're hearing, uh, Matt Dumba to Tampa Bay. That's the most recent one. Uh, that's stupid. (laughs) unfair. (laughs) (laughs) So we'll quickly go over as these trades start coming in. And of course we'll be, it's going to be helter skelter. Everyone, this is what it's like going on in the trade deadline. Uh, let's go and talk about what did occur earlier. And that is Clem Costin going to the Sharks. Uh, in exchange for Redeem Shimmick and a uh, uh, the New Jersey 2024 seventh round pick uh, going to Detroit. Costin uh, a 6'4", big boy, 232-pound uh, forward. He can play center. He was a first round pick for the Blues back in 2017. Uh, had a career high last year with the Oilers with over 21 points. Um but tell me what you think of this of this guy. Obviously, uh, a huge, huge body uh, that can uh, del- deliver some good stuff. No, I mean, I, I, I think I was higher on, in that trade than others. I really liked him in Edmonton when he played there, like, what was it, a year, a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I thought he was really good in Edmonton. I think in the right situation, like, I think it could work out for the Sharks. Um, like again, it, it, it kind of just like, he's not going to be an elite top line forward or anything, but he's a big body. He's, uh, what was it? Six, four, six, four, two, 32, six, 40, two, 32. So just to, yeah, just kind of a beast. Um, and it's the type of guy Greer likes. So like, why not take a shot? Um, I feel bad for the Cuda. I'm not going to lie. Um, cause losing Shimmick is going to hurt the Cuda. Um, but it, I thought Greer did a pretty good job with that trade, and I'm not mad about it. No, it's it's a nice pick. I, the thing that bugs me all the time is like, okay, why did you have to add on another pick? You know, why did you have to add a pick to get something? I mean, you did it with Stanika. Uh, it's a seventh round pick. I know, I know, but like I said, like me and Ian said last night, you know where this who got who was picked in the seventh round. I'm just just putting that Joe out. Joe Pavelski, I yes. know, all I right. know, all right, I'm I just, know. I so. know, but it's a seventh round pick, and you're getting a third rounder, and um, and, and a potential for for nice. And also, he's he's signed for two million, which is very expensive for what he pr- gives. I'm not gonna lie, but like, I don't know. I I think it's a good deal for the Sharks, and I think it's another gamble that Greer's gonna take, and then people can get mad at me when that gamble doesn't work out. <laughs> So Easy. so you and Ian are both going to have people that are mad with each other. Hey, so I'm not complimenting Vegas. I'm complimenting the Sharks. <laughs> I should get less bad comments. There you go. 
There you go. All right. So uh, what's what has surprised you so far uh, today? I mean, oh. I mean, we've seen a lot of teams bolster up. I mean, Tyler to Foley to Winnipeg. And the Jets have like Cole Perfetti on the fourth line in their line projections. Like that's not fair. Cole Perfetti is a top <laughs> six young forward. <laughs> like I know he struggled, but that's not fair. Um, I think Florida is the team coming out from the East. Um, I think Florida is just ridiculous. Like you get Matt Dumba, um, not Matt Dumba. My bad. You get a uh, Kyle Pozo today. Right. Uh, you picked up Vladimir Tarasenko. Like that top six is just loaded because now I think they can probably move Rodriguez down to the fourth line and you have like Evan Rodriguez playing on the fourth line with like Ryan Lomberg and whoever their fourth line center is. Um, so they've impressed me. Um, Tampa getting Dumba is a pretty good acquisition consider they lost Sergachev. Um, what other trades happened today? Uh, I mean, th- there's been a lot. I mean, you saw. Oh, I guess what's his face? Kuznetsov going to the going Carolina. to Carolina. <laughs> nice little risk there. No retention there. Uh, you know, you had Dumba to Tampa, uh, which you know they're looking up. So you're you're you're, you're waiting. You're freaking waiting for Toronto to do something. And if not, they're going to absolutely have a conniption up in Toronto if they don't. I'm going to say this. Barabanov is going to Toronto if he's traded. You're calling that. You don't know. No sources. I I have no sources. I I have absolutely zero sources. I think Toronto and the Sharks are working on a deal that's going to break hopefully (laughs) soon. (laughs) I just have a weird feeling. It, it, it there there's been craziness, and like you said, there it could be a paper transaction with Krona and Bordalo. I mean, you could look at the potential that you know Blackwood's going to be ready to go, uh, and maybe that's why Krona is going down. Um, I just I just find it interesting as Purdy Good Forty Nine saying, "Do we actually think Barabanov's getting interest?" They keep tweeting like I, he's going somewhere, but for what he's done. This year, if you're just basing it on this year, it just seems I, like. I think some team is going to take a shot at him to throw them in their top nine. Like, I, I don't think they would sit him out if they were not getting like actual trade interest. Right. So we shall see uh, what's going on. Jeffrey B uh, kind of leading into this while we're down to about 18 minutes left before the uh, – deadline hits would you rather have the pens pick stayed around 11 or 13 or if the pick slides to a 2025 unprotected I mean, i'm torn like yes i want a 2025 unprotected pick just because the 2025 class is ridiculously deep um but like i would be fine with like the 11th pick also as we'll talk about the tsn mock draft today was really fun oh yeah well we might as well just get into it then you know, I mean, uh, you had everything go the Sharks' way. It was between Ottawa, who moved up from 6-2, to two, and then San Jose uh, gets the first overall pick, you know, with uh, Deputy Commissioner Jeff O'Neill on there, which I just love. And if, and if, you, ever, if you ever listen to Override on TSN in Toronto radio, uh, and, and Jerk, if you're watching, you, you know it, uh, he does a hilarious impression of commissioner gary <clears throat> excuse me jerry bettman uh, jerry bettman oh man if if you if you haven't heard it you 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 gotta you gotta hear this you know so that'd be fun uh but i mean you look at the teams that are, have bolstered i mean vegas went nuts they're still as you mentioned before we went on the eyes are open per Kevin Weeks about the Golden Knights. Uh, Colorado has done a bunch of stuff. Colorado has had a really good deadline. Yeah. <laughs> Just a really good all-around deadline. Yeah. I mean, Vancouver's done their pieces uh, early on. Uh, Winnipeg, as we mentioned, getting to Foley and Monaghan you know, earlier. Uh, so it's just crazy. Uh, to see but you know nothing's been really getting crazy out of there I mean uh, Patrick Pat good to see you good morning uh, worst trade of the deadline is the peak move and it's not close at all 
Uh, it's the best day ever for me. <laughs> you got Malcolm Subban uh, going, what was it? For, for... Was it future considerations yes. for Malcolm Subban? Yes. Ah, yes. Did you see what Columbus tweeted out? Yes. Thank yes. you, future considerations. Yes. One of their diehard fans that I follow, uh, uh, Jackets Lindsay on, on Twitter, w- already had the jersey and, and photoshopped it up and said, we'll miss you. Uh, future considerations. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Uh, Crazy in that, uh, you know, Jake Allen getting, you know, going from Montreal to New Jersey with some charm. Yeah, I don't understand that trade, but that's just me. Yeah, and Jeffrey B saying the same thing. I don't understand what New Jersey was thinking. Uh, you know, they weren't. And then to trade to Foley on there, so it's it's crazy. Um, I, I was thinking if if Ferraro. Were to be moved, I would have thought either Toronto or Tampa. I think Tampa's off the board now. Now that Dumba is yeah, heading over Tampa's there, yeah, out. And and Tampa, I think they have the worst uh, save percentage in the league. If I remember seeing it earlier today on TSN, uh, and then three five and one their last night. That's crazy. Um, AJ, appreciate you, buddy. Uh, thank you, bud. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Penguins have acquired goaltender Ludovic Weber. And a conditional 2025 20, seventh round pick in exchange for Magnus Helberg. Uh, that is, uh, thank you, AJ. I believe that Chris Johnson had that first. So far, from what I've seen, we are under 14 minutes to go. That makes move for Ty Smith. And how how awkward is it? And this kind of reminds me of um, the De Simone trade from a few years ago with the Sharks. Um. It, it, it's interesting. Ty Smith is going to be with Wilkes-Barre Scranton for the rest of the year. Yep. <laughs> it, yep. It's like, it's okay. It's just a paper transaction. You know, we only need a Jake Gensel. You enjoy. But also, you know, Carolina doesn't really have a uh, farm team at the moment. No, they don't. Because they got into this whole thing with the sh- something happened with the Chicago Wolves. Yeah. Devils are punting the season. Yeah, RIP that first round pick this year, bud. Yeah, you, <laughs> just you RIP. Can, you can just make sure it's a it's a mid twenty twenty four second round pick that the Sharks will have uh, going into that, and that's something I should probably pull up right now is what they are doing uh, cap friendly wise. Uh, just with everything with the dust kind of settling a little bit, we haven't heard anything at the moment. You know, the Sharks do have their own pick right now. It's up in the air whether or not Pittsburgh will have it, but Pittsburgh has the option to move the pick to next season. We'll see. Uh, the, the Sharks also have their own second, and their Tampa's the, third. Tampa's third. Uh, they have the Devils' second-round pick, which is what it is right now, unless yeah. the Devils were to some miraculously go into uh, the Western – or excuse me, the Eastern Conference Final. Eastern that, Conference Final. That, yeah, and I really, I love them. I don't think they are like they're. They've dug themselves a little in the hole. I think if they traded for a goaltender earlier, they would be more in contention right now. Yeah. But they've like dug themselves in a hole. Yeah. So uh, I believe, it, Tampa did a couple of trades with the Sharks. There was the AC Mont with the Nemestikov trade, and that they ended up getting that. Third, oh no, that third picks for this year, uh, this year's trade. See, Tampa and and the Sharks have made so consecutive many trades. trades. You know, twenty twenty four almost Goodrow, every year, and then AC Mont now uh, getting Anthony Duclair for that third round pick. Uh, Luke Cunnan is an RFA with arbitration rights. I'm sorry, I was just looking at the Sharks cap friendly. Anyways, keep going. <laughs> uh, so the Sharks have their own first. Potentially Pittsburgh first, but that's up in the air per Pittsburgh. Round two, they will have their own pick and New Jersey's pick, barring a miracle that they make it to the East final. <laughs> they have Tampa's third round pick, Vegas's fourth round pick, because, you know, we just gave them Aiden Hill to win the Stanley Cup. Um, uh, oh they have God. Pittsburgh's fifth round pick, uh, and then they have their own seventh right now. So yeah. they currently have one, two, three four five six seven eight they have eight picks into this year's draft at the moment uh they'll definitely have at least uh four of the first 64 picks in the draft so and that's uh, not bad that's not bad 
That's if, of course, Pittsburgh gives them the pick now. Here, I'm curious what Pitt, Pittsburgh is going to do. Oh, Pat, Jack Roslovic is being traded for a mid-round pick in 2026. Frank Saravalli just tweeted it out. Yep. Uh, um, Roslovic but, from Columbus to the Rangers for that one. Yep. Good trade for the Rangers. Very solid pickup for them. They've also had a very underrated deadline. And who do they, um, they also get? Uh Few days they ago. got Weinberg. Weinberg, yes, from yeah. uh, Seattle. And Seattle. Seattle getting uh, re-signing Jordan Eberle. Uh, so I'm shocked they didn't trade him. I, I think they really, really like him, and he's a good fit up there. No, uh, he definitely is. I mean, Seattle's in a weird place where they're like, I don't know. They're they're a hard team for me to predict how they're going to do because they're just kind of – they have the talent. They're just not getting the luck right now. Yeah. But last year they had all of the luck. So, but all the luck up has to be in Vegas. <laughs> oh God, Vegas is making traction for another big move. Uh, yes, that's where I'm David Pagnaia, the fourth. Period. I know we don't trust him, but I was just gonna point that out there. Anyways. Yeah, another big move for a player with term. Uh, that's that's gonna be interesting uh, about <laughs> that one. Oh, so, who's a, who? Who else is out there? Who else is out there? Like with term even? Like is it a trade and sign? It could be. I mean, I know they were trying to finish up Noah Hannafin. Uh, you know, so it's going to be interesting. We are under eight minutes. Oh, come on, Sharks. Do another move, please. Come on. There's got to like be something. Six UFAs. I know they have no value, but get some magic beans for them. Uh, Kevin Kurz, our old friend, uh, Kevin Kurz, the Flyers are done for the day. So the Flyers are done with what they've done. They don't move, uh, Ryan Johansson. So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Interesting. Oh, yeah. uh, Patrick in the chat saying things it's for Toronto. He doesn't have term unless it's a sign and trade. Yeah. So if Vegas gets for Toronto, I'm going to lose my mind <laughs> live on air. Well, that, oh, geez, that wouldn't be the first time. So, I but, but, it, sorry, no go. I was gonna say the plan was when upon all these moves in the off season, you know, with with Carlson, such you know, like the likes of Ruda and Hoffman, uh, and, and et cetera, et cetera. You know, or to use them as trade assets. Yes, you use that Duclair one. That that happened. Wish you well. Please resign, Anthony. Declare, please, please, please. Um. So, I mean, here's the thing with the Sharks. Like, Greer took a very obvious gamble on all of these guys having bounce back seasons, and just none of them have. Right. Like uh, it. It's Hoffman has boiled off. LeBanc. We're not going to get into that. Justin Bailey. Maybe you can get a fourth. Ryan Carpenter. Maybe, but at this point, it's looking bleak. But also something to remember is who the fuck is playing for the Sharks next year? Uh, right. <laughs> and that's the big thing, too. Heck, who's going to play for the Barracuda if you were to move all those free agents? That's like, that's the other yeah. big thing. You like know. you have Mikhail Gramlin, Nico Sturm. I'm surprised Nico hasn't had um, a, uh, some traction He'll get moved yet. Next deadline, 100%. He'll get moved next deadline. I so. can guarantee, like, yeah. Because he has another year left, right? At, yeah, he does. He has yeah. another year left at, what is it, th- two million. Oh, my God. Nico Sturm and Clem Costin make the same amount of money. Good good cap space. Hockey jerk's favorite Who? player. <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? You know? What am I, th- what are we doing here? So, we are... <laughs> Inching closer and closer, we're about five minutes away. But of course, as we've speculated many times before, as we've done these, the just because it hits noon doesn't mean anything. Yeah, uh, is finalized. You have to be on the phone with with the league, and then they can trickle in with the over the next hour. So also, I will say the Sharks have been very not leaky in terms of leaking their trades with Mike Greer. Like we typically find out once the trade call is complete <laughs> with the Sharks, at least some other teams we like there's a pending, except for the Meyer deal. They've been pretty like 
does that make sense? I don't know, yes. but they've been less leaky as they normally are. Yeah. So that's something to know. So might find something. We'll, we shall see. I mean, it's, you know, it, it's, it's tough. It's tough to say goodbye to Shimmick, uh, but he's had some health concerns. Um, you know, I know it was becoming a thing where he says, you got Shimmick, but he also got himself Shimmick. Uh, you know. Oh, God. You know, so you feel for him. All the best to him in Detroit or Grand Rapids, wherever he goes. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I mean, I think it's a good move for Detroit. Like, you know, take a take a gamble. He Shimmick was doing really well in the AHL. Um, see what he can bring to you in the NHL as a team. I mean, like, he could be like your sixth or seventh guy come playoff time. Yeah. And for Duclair, I mean, not necessarily going to be a top six per se, but he can also help you out maybe on the second power play unit. Definitely top nine uh, going forward. I mean, I know they're showing the standings in the East right now, and I'm like, basically the Flyers kind of didn't do much. Islanders didn't do much, and they're sitting out four what back. What the fuck are the Islanders doing even? They, they they didn't make a single move this deadline. You know, the Lightning are two points uh, above the Islanders for that final playoff Wait, spot. Wait, breaking as per Vegas is working on a Tomas Hurdle deal with Vegas coming out from Chris Johnson? Whoa! Back up, folks. Back up. Hold up. Is this real? Can someone verify this, please? That is a verified Chris Johnson tweet because that is. So <laughs> Vegas is working on a Tomas Hurdle deal with San Jose. Holy fuck. That Sorry. is a very, very oh. juicy, juicy oh. deal. Holy oh. hell. Oh. <laughs> Shit. That Sorry. is... Um, and it is pending a trade call per oh, Pierre Vegas. Lebrun. Vegas so is Tomas so Hurdle is now going to be a Vegas Golden Knight. Talk <laughs> about a season I that... I told you guys. I told you guys. The Sharks yep. are fucking brewing something. So this is massive, and this has probably got to be salary retained of some sort. This has to be some sort of a salary retention with Vegas there I I can't I can't see them I, I mean unless some unless somebody else went down um so. holy f- sorry guys give me 30 seconds to process and then I can be serious again this is a massive one and this one's going to hurt sharks fans um Greer's really just okay so here's the thing um Greer's really just saying firing everyone off of the Doug Wilson train <laughs> like into the fucking moon this wow Th- this one mm. give how the fuck did Greer move this contract <laughs> <laughs> all right give me a minute yeah um yeah, we need a minute um is this the biggest trade that's broken on TL Town on live air uh well let's see I know Jerk broke down the Nyquist trade <laughs> Uh, of course, we had the Timo Meyer trade going. Um, and I know, AJ, I know you're behind this. Is like Greer had better get paid on this. Uh, fun is okay. no longer always. Yeah, this one's going to be a really, really tough one. And I'm almost certain he'll talk to media afterwards. But this Wait. has to be something. Um, holy fuck. Okay. Um, so <laughs> no, you're you're just you're the same with sorry, me. Guys. You're the same I'm with sorry. me. I kind of don't have words because I grew up watching Hurdle. Like he's the guy that got me into the Sharks. So like I'm like processing. Elliot Friedman is now saying Tomas Hurdle will go to the to the Vegas Golden Knights pending trade call. So we have now multiple sources stating that Tomas Hurdle is a Vegas Golden Knight at this moment. Holy. Fuck. Um, Don't tell me the rivalry is dead because now it really it just got a little more so interesting. I have to ask. I'm going to ask this. Who the fuck is playing for the Sharks next year? <laughs> Greer's just banking on getting Sal Brini and Michael Misa or James Hadgens. Like, that's what he... Oh. Uh, what did the Sharks get? We're not sure, Tom. We are yet. still waiting We're to still hear waiting something on that. On that. Um, uh, of course, Jerk, I'm you sure. Should have d- taken the day off work and come join us on no this call. No kidding. Um, 
<laughs> Hurdle, of course. I mean, l- let's recap it. Uh, 2012 first round pick for the Sharks. Obviously, we remember him from having one of the most memorable goals in Sharks franchise history with his fourth goal between the legs, where it was known to be disrespected, uh, among other things. It, it's uh, Hurdle was a big part of this team going forward, and he showed a lot of a lot of um things uh, to you know i mean a massive fan favorite in san jose um i mean i think if there was only one player around that that was um I, i'm still trying to get a grip if there's one player around this team right now that's going to put butts in seats it's the sharks uh it's hurdle I mean, they, they, I mean, he also had uh, a double overtime shorthanded game winning goal in the playoffs, game six against Vegas, beating Marc Andre Fleury. So, um, um, sorry, y'all. Like, I think even like Frank Cervalli was like completely jaw dropped by this. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, we are, um, we're waiting for the return. So here's what I will say. Because I know this is going to be hard for a lot of Sharks fans. Like, I'm aware. But, like, we wanted a rebuild. This is what a rebuild is. But this has to be an insane haul. Uh, I sound This like has to be an insane round, okay, okay. haul. Because first otherwise... First rounders are going back to San Jose for the hard deal from David Pagnone. I know we don't trust him. But first rounders are going back. So I'm hoping that's... This 2024 one, because in that stupid Florida deal, they were like, ah, yes, we can defer that. So I'm assuming they're trading the 2024. And they only have, they only have a 2024, their 2020, uh, they have their 2024 pick. Their 2025, I think was part of the Hannafin. No, no, no. So 25 wasn't part of Hannafin. They didn't, did they give up a? If uh, the conditions, if Vegas trades the 2025 first round pick, by March 10th, uh, or if the pick is top 10, Calgary instead will receive Vegas's 2026 pick. But they also made the deal with Florida that was like, pick which one you want. So I'm confused. So they have the, I am I can guarantee you it's the first rounder this year. Probably the first rounder in 2027 is my best bet. It has and to be, I like and that. to get player yeah. with term, um, this is this is one for the ages, <laughs> and I, I hate this. I know that sounds a little overboard, but that is a bigger move. I I don't know how the 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 Wait. uh holy fuck the team or the franchise um did did the owner even approve? Like, how is there? I'm so when's the next time that <laughs> okay the rebuild has not ext- okay I'm seeing things on Twitter like the rebuild has extended another three years no not necessarily they're just gonna be horrible for two years and make sure they get those top picks so that they can actually have the like I love hurdle and like I don't want to see him getting traded all right, this actually talking. gives the Sharks the chance to get some of those top drafts, like those tr- top draft guys that are like franchise changers. Um, Sorry, like I'm not trying to be mean here to Hurdle or anything. Like I fucking love Hurdle, but. I, I'm. They are talking about it on ESPN right now. I mean, they're speculating that there are brokers in this deal, uh, not the least of which, you know, the sharks retaining salary. Oh my god! Um, um, sorry, you know, they guys. said they were ahead of. The, they said they were ahead of schedule with hurdle coming back. I can only think that they that they are very close. Um, you know, but that is a massive deal. And right now, folks, if you're putting your money on who to win. The Stanley Cup, you're, it's Vegas back-to-back. 
jerk, you're going to have another parade down the strip soon because, I mean, yeah, they're they're in the second wild card spot, but dear Lord. Um you know, and Kerr's coming in with the with the with a tweet. Thanks, AJ. Um, I remember years ago how much shit I took uh, got for suggesting Joe Thornton might go to Vegas to play for Pete DeBoer. This is so much worse for Sharks fans who rightfully have loved Hurdle from day one. Um, oh God. Okay, I'm praying the return is not just who are Vegas's top prospects. I want them. Uh, you, you have to. Uh, no, I'm do, gonna go look that up right now, just so I have, have it pulled to up. Ha- that first round pick this year has to be in. Um, um, oh, where is that guy's fucking Scott Wheeler? Uh, I'd kind of look at his rankings, but I don't. Fuck. So we're gonna stay with this. I, I was gonna have a 120 uh, car appointment, but uh, screw that until we find out this. Uh, you know, if you're just joining us, the trade deadline has passed. Um, there are still trades that are that need to be uh, gone through with a trade call, uh, and they're showing the the deadline moves of the Great Vegas Golden Knights. 2018, Tomas Tatar. 2020, Leonard Cousins, Alec Martinez. 2021, Matthias Janmark. Last year, it was Jonathan Quick, Teddy Bluger, and Ivan Barbashev. This year, Noah Hannafin, Anthony Manta, and now Tomas Hurdle. I will say Give this, and, and I, yeah. and I, no, you're good, and I will say this. Only Logan Couture and Kevin LeBanc are the ones that still are on the stat sheet that play for the San Jose Sharks, who were a part of that five-minute power play. Okay, so found it. Um, I want David Enstrom, center. He was a riser in last year's drafts, one of Sweden's best players in their first line center at the U18s. Um, they don't have... I want Bryson. Brendan Bryson is a guy that I want. Like, I want their top three prospects at least for this. And more. Like, I want Bryson. Reunite him with fucking Bordalo. Hurdle had to waive his no move clause for this. But here's here's the thing. Here's yeah, the thing. So. Um, you know, it, it has to be. But that's that's a massive move to make. But to see Carlson, Burns, it's just to Vegas. It's so much worse. Yeah. <sighs> it's. Uh, for the record, David Stavard. Um, David Savard is staying in Montreal. I know this is a lot of things that are going on through your head. We we thank you very much uh, for joining us. Uh, we do uh, Sharks coverage <laughs> after Shark, every okay, game. Okay, from and, Kevin Weeks, sorry, sorry to interrupt. From Kevin Weeks, Sharks two first for Tomas Hurdle, and there's heavy salary retention. Okay. So they use their last salary retention spot. Um. That's fine. I don't. They're getting rid of most of their bad contracts, anyways, at this point. So it's fine. Yeah. It, I just feel bad for Cooch. Like, that's another thing. Like, uh, is Couture just done? Well, that depends on everything now. Now, now becomes the, the, the next question. Um, you know, what's next for Logan Couture? If he is healthy enough to play. Is he going to go someplace? I mean, obviously, he, he has that offer. I would think after this season and everything that has gone on uh, with the team, it's now... Um, it's now... Uh, so, uh, again, um, you, you have to understand this, guys. And, and we'll only, we've mentioned this before. We are not completely media we are very graciously and accessible uh gracious for the sharks to give us the info that they do um but i think more than anything this this is one of the saddest 
Uh, Wolves, I think this one hurts more than Burns, more than Carlson. I, I know some of you will say they're happy that Carlson's gone. Uh, you can, you know, you've seen the big pieces of this team have now moved. Um, uh, Jason Greger, no, uh, with some relation to Noah Greger, of course. Sharks should have traded him two years ago and started the rebuild then. Signing him for eight years then made no sense. They were done, but the organization didn't want to see it. And that's the point too, Jules, is that that contract was signed by Joe Will right as Doug Wilson stepped down due to health issues. Um, they, are, because... they are blowing it up, guys. Chill. Yep. Sorry. Nope. Nope. And this one... Listen, like <sighs> this is what you call blowing it up, and this they should have probably done this. But you have no, no nothing else to blow up. I mean, this you no, have. This is the final straw. This has to be. This, this has. This is has to be the worst the Sharks are gonna be. Like, cause once you trade Hurdle, there is no going back. Yeah. Like this, like Mike Greer, you are making a fucking statement, and it better fucking pay off. Yep. It, it, this, this David is... Enstrom is a key part of the San Jose. Okay. 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 Here we that's, go. We got. We th got th details. That's good. That's okay. So is that one of the first or like what? What's going so on? So here? here's here's what Darren Drager is saying. So for Tomas Hurdle, <sighs> it's a 2025 first round pick. It is. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's David Enstrom, who is Vegas's first round pick in 2023. Hurdle is has 17% retained. So. Hurdle at six point seven five. So, so seventeen percent of of his deal. So roughly what? About two million, a little That's over two not million. As bad as I was expecting. A okay. third round pick in twenty twenty five. A third round pick in twenty twenty seven. Is there more? As far as we know, that is it. Please That's tell what me we're there's saying. more. So to let's reiterate this again. Let's go over this really slowly here. So oh, I'm trying to get Pierre LeBrun's uh, comment on it as well. Darren Dr Okay, okay, okay. So, so first. Yeah. So again, for Tormash Hurdle, and we don't know if there's anything else going back because we've seen that before with these trades. A 2025 first round pick, which means I would assume that Noah Hannafin move is now a 2026 first round pick. So for the Sharks, you're getting a 2025 first round pick. David Enstrom, who was the Vegas Golden Knights' first round pick in 2023, a third round pick in 2025, and a third round pick in 2027 for one of the most enjoyable on and off the ice I, um, players I, I in Sharks history. I think they're going to also trade a roster player because I don't think the salary cap works like that because Vegas doesn't. Like, I think there's more to this. So that's that's what we know right now. Um, TLBT um, saying Tomas must have requested. No way Greer does this for fun. We did hear about uh, uh, we did hear about how there was some unhappiness with Hurdle uh, about a month or so ago uh, that maybe they would review it during the summertime. So obviously. Summertime came early, and honestly, it it, it, it is for the Sharks. So um, I think, can I just try to, I'm going to try my best to not blow up right now. Um, another from Scott Ellis, another nice prospect in San Jose and David Entram, a center, had a great second half of his draft year, best prospect Vegas had. Entram is known for being an excellent skater with good hockey IQ at six foot three. He has great size for a power forward, and he's a good dual threat as a shooter and passer. Yeah. So there's a little bit. I, this is not gonna make anyone fucking feel better, but yeah, I mean they do have five million LTR. Thank you, Pat. Uh, you know maybe there were br brokers, uh, and th there it's it's there has to be. Uh, but the this could be interesting tomorrow in San Jose, uh, and the Sharks in Ottawa play. At 4 p.m., it is a Hockey Night in Canada game. It'll be like the secondary uh, game uh, for it. So, sorry, guys. So, uh, you know, I I don't know, I don't know what we have, uh, how 
how this um, uh how Vegas has done this. Um let it be said that you know as as much as it's frustrating, as much as it's very upsetting, as much as you can cry cap circumvention, as much as you can talk about, you know, well Tampa did this, Toronto did this, you know, this that you know, even Chicago back in the day too. Uh, you have to give it to Vegas for going all in. And this is more than just your typical all in. This is getting creatively all in for Vegas. Um, uh, you know, Hurt- Friedman said hurdle is expected to return. So the thing with the Sharks salary retention stuff also Burns only has one more, more year left. So it's really only next year that the Sharks can't really retain and they're not going to really have to in any contracts. Like they're not going to need to retain on any players next year. Um, for a trade. So regarding like retention spots, it's fine. Um, We're but... still waiting for the official word to come. I feel in. like I feel like this is going to be like the Timo trade. Yeah. Uh, they say uh, from Shana Goldman, no, no relation to our wonderful Shalena Goldman. They say money can't buy happiness, but it sure can buy a whole lot of drama. Just ask the rich and powerful. Golden Knights, who continue to spend at no matter the cost. The house always wins at the deadline. Um, they're just they're just basically transitioning it over to everything, you know. Uh, looking at this uh, season, who knows? I mean, Riley Smith was a big part of that. Probably two Stone, Marcia, So Eichel, Hurdle, Hannafin, ridiculous. Um, AJ. What the f am I supposed to do with my twenty-seven different hurdle jerseys now? And I and AJ, I know you'll probably save the story for technologists on Sunday, but you know, I know you and your dad had gone to that game and gotten jerseys and everything. So there's that that big one on there. Um, How the hell is Barabanov still here, AJ? <laughs> <laughs> don't even. I don't even want to mention that right now. I'm not. TSN has confirmed it. Oh, uh, fuck me. So, uh, Tomas Hurdle having salary retained means one, San Jose has already used all of their three retained slots yeah, for next that's season. Fine. That's fine. Burns is up next season. Just everyone fucking chill. By the time the Sharks need to worry about like signing, the, the, this yeah. one will stink. They'll, but once the Carlson one is done, the Sharks will actually be competitive, hopefully. And then we can start like worrying about our salary cap Uh, problems. But this does, and this is a great point, this significantly reduces their trade flexibility moving forward. Uh, Surprising move for rebuilding teams. So yeah, they are no longer, they are really going to be on the outside looking in next. And that's fine. I care about their draft next year more. That's I'm like, okay, listen, they're going to, I don't think that, I, I think that's a little exaggerated. They won't be able to like trade out larger contracts that you have to retain on. Um, I don't think Greer does much next deadline. He's sold this team to the brink. So that's fine. And Car- Burnsy is up the next year. So just one year where the Sharks have minimal flexibility, that's fine. They're going to be hot garbage and no one's going to want their players. Sorry, y'all. I'm not pissed. <laughs> yeah, anyways. No, you do get... Uh, and, and Shang making a good point right now. Not that anyone cares right now, but an agent... Tells me Hurdle just saved over six million dollars in taxes uh, by mo- getting moved to oh, Nevada. Uh, so uh, Connor Dewar going to Toronto as we speak. <laughs> this, um, uh, my girlfriend is on her way to San Diego for a memorial service, and uh, she's going to be stunned. I mean, like many of you. I think Hurdle is one of those guys that are just incredibly uh, loved and revered around here no matter what. He showed you some heart. He showed you some passion. He showed you some creativity. Uh, But the good thing is, is that, you know, Edstrom, they are. I like Edstrom. He was a guy I wanted. Um, I know, I think Mark tweeted, uh, it's another Philip Beasted. Um, so. But, yeah, like, I, listen, Greer, except for the Burnsy trade, you could argue the Carlson trade, 
he had to kind of just tear this team to fucking shreds. The thing now, though. No, I know. The thing now is, though, is that the attendance was already in a rough spot. Oh, it's going to get so much worse. Why would you want to go? To see Eklund. You want to see Eklund? To see Eklund, Zetterlund. I do have to remind people, half the fucking new core isn't even in San Jose yet. Right. And, like, I get it's hard to come to games, but you go to see guys like Eklund and Zetterlund, Bordalo. I mean, they're going to be forced to call up their young guns now. Like, that's the simplest way I can put it. Yeah. And, like, yeah, it's going to be painful seeing Hurdle wearing a Vegas Golden Knight jersey, but to be fair, they should have traded Hurdle two years ago. Yeah, no, that, uh, Kurz is right on that part. You know, they shouldn't have made the deal if that's the case. Like, um, you should have traded him to the to the Vegas or the fucking Rangers um, when, when you had the chance to do that. And like, this is, this is Greer committing that, Hey, we're going for the full rebuild. No more fucking around getting the fourth, like the seventh overall pick. Yeah. You know, we want the one and two picks for this year and next year in 2026, we'll talk about starting to be competitive again. Uh, yeah. That's, and that's, when you have guys like Celbrini, James Hadgens and Michael Misa available, I'm going to take that gamble and say that's what Gurr's thinking. Yeah. Um, again, we are... I guess like, this is the uh, reason why we go live. Um, yeah. It's funny because I told Puck I, I think Greer's brewing something. Yeah. When, well, you saw that paper transaction with Krona and Bordalo. You were talking about that. I was yeah. saying I, I I felt like Greer was brewing something, brewing something. Did did I think it was um, hurdle? No, but guys, I I think this had to be done. <laughs> and I it pains me to say this, but it's a full fucking rebuild. My my question to you is, is that now what's next for with Couture? I don't think he comes back. Well, does he come I back think to he another retired. team, or is he not coming back? I and mean, that's the scary part. And I think I think he were t I think his injury is too bad. If it's really that bad, that's a tough one. And it's one. painful. Like Sharks fans, it's painful right now. I know. Like I am aware. But this will pay off. It's going to take time. But <sighs> it'll it'll pay off. I uh, like I'm trying to put a positive spin on this and I fucking love Hurdle. Like I know it sucks, but like it it's it, this is what they should have done two years ago it's just very much so fucking delayed and that's what's even more painful about it okay so i'm hearing drager saying to be clear hurdle and two-thirds are going to vegas so hang on a second here now i'm gonna get pissed wait wait hold on hold hold, hold up hold. so you retained 17 percent of tomas hurdle you're gonna I get don't a, think that's a, it. A first round pick in 2025, Enstrom, and we're also giving them two third round picks. No, no, I, I genuinely wait. Who said that? I don't. Dra Darren Drager. So, what? So, we're sending two third round picks and Tomas Hurdle to the Vegas Golden Knights to get a first round pick. Well, one in 2025. Sharks. And Enstrom, their la their first round pick in twenty twenty three. I feel like there's more to this puck guy. So before we explode, I feel like that that that. Eh. Mm. Mm. Okay, if that if that Let, let's hold off because I will fully go off with you. But let's hold off because there's probably more to this that we're missing at the current moment. If if that's the case, you are going up. you're going to see a riot act in San Jose. It seems like okay, maybe not that crazy. But if you're giving them picks along with Hurdle, no, I don't. I, I genuinely. If you're pick, if you're giving picks with Hurdle, that 2025 pick has to be unprotected. Please, fucking be unprotected. Okay. Oh, let's like it, who gives a shit? It's probably gonna be 31 or 32 anyways, because they're probably gonna do the same freaking thing next year for Vegas. And we're giving them picks to go with it. My God, can we just just be like sucker? Okay, hold. There has to be more to that. I, I really don't think the tricks are that stupid. 
you know, um, I, I follow a lot of people in the chat or with that are in the organization. And uh, one of the great designers for the team, Rachel Anderson, uh, just tweeted out, check in on your friends who are Sharks fans to be, which to be fair, we are not all right most of the time, but especially not today. Um, Let's see what this final deal is before. I, now we, we got to wait for an official word. Like, now yeah, we have to the... wait for the official word for it because, um, and, and now we're starting to see people saying, you know, this might be a fireable trade. Uh, power forward 26. Uh, yeah, first minder wise will be an early second round pick. Yeah. You know, uh, you know, if, oh my God. We had to give up picks again. I, I, I don't think. I, I mean, I, I'm. I think there's more puck guy. I, I like. They're always going to give up picks. It's uh, who, so do, basically. Do the trucks even have those picks? That that basically convinces me that our system sucks so bad that you have to sweeten the deal with draft picks to order to get anything. Contract to sucks. get anything. Um. Hold on. So the Sharks, they don't have their, what? They have Tampa's 2024 third. What? Okay. Let's let's see what the official deal is, because it's like the Timo trade right now, a little. Right. We're... Let me update the scroll here. If you're just joining us, be prepared. We're about to lose our minds if that's the case. Uh Um, this could take hours to process, but, um, no, let's see what the official return is. Cause I feel like there has to be more to this, but it like lovingly put, they should have done this two years ago. And I think that's why, well, if, if that's the case, if that's the case, I mean, I don't think you would have to give up this because you had to retain salary. You wouldn't have had to retain salary if you then this. No, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. I think so, we should have done this a few years ago. So here's the question I have next. Is Joe Will going to be on the chopping block? The Barracuda GM for making this move. Yeah, he's the, probably the, not surviving the offseason. I mean, th this, there's a lot to there's a lot to suggest. So I'm like itching. Make it official. It, it, this seems like the the, the, the team of trade again. Yeah. Um and and far worse, far worse, because now now you have Hoffman, who you thought was going to be the trade piece to move at the deadline. You had Duclair, which you moved. OK, good job. You have Ruda, who you thought you could maybe move for a later pick. That's not happening. You have a, a bunch of forwards who haven't done anything this year. Mikhail Granlin, yes, he's done a decent amount but it's on the verge of getting to 40 points. My my question is, are we going to have a 20-goal score with the Sharks this Probably season? Probably not, Puck Guy. I mean, uh, I, I think, what, freaking Zetterlin has 16? And th this is just... Yeah, they well, just put out the... So they just they know for sure what Vegas is getting. I don't think we know for sure what the Sharks are getting. Um, let's see what happens. Cause I don't want to speculate right now about this deal. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yep. And thank you, AJ. Since Vegas moved the 2025 first round trick, mm -hmm. since Vegas moved the 2025 first round pick as part of the hurdle trade, Calgary will now for sure receive Vegas's 2026 pick from the Noah Hannafin trade. So Vegas still had, unless they did another thing, which wouldn't surprise me because everybody wants to help Vegas. <clears throat> Vegas still has their 2024 first round pick. I, I would be, I, I, I would not be surprised if that got added. Anymore. So now I'm going to say, I don't know when the date is, but sometime in May, I want all of you to be here because we better win that lottery. Yeah. 
you better win that lottery. There is a trade alert with uh, Winnipeg and New Jersey. Colin Miller has been traded to the, to the Winnipeg Jets in a separate trade. They traded Tyler to Foley earlier in the day. Um, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, I'm trying to up, update this. Reports, Sharks trade Tomas Hurdle and two third round picks to Vegas. Does it get did it get confirmed? Not yet. We're still okay. waiting. Okay. Uh for and let's be honest, it's seventeen percent salary retained for the next six years. Yeah. Um like listen um <laughs> i i don't really want to speculate on this like i'm seeing a variety of reactions uh some un, a fan from a one of the people from another thing thinks this is a decent return but but let's see because i again i'm sensing this is kind of like the timo trade where we're not going to know all the full details unless until the team releases it because i don't want to start blowing off the sharks um. Yeah, I don't think the two thirds are coming to San Jose. That doesn't sound right. No, it's yeah. it's it doesn't. It that just doesn't. Been, no. Like it. Sure, if that happens, we can all scream and yell about it. But like, I just don't think that's right. I'm not like dissing on this reporter. If he's right, he's right. But there there must be something else in coming to San Jose because I don't think Greer is that big of an idiot, and I'm giving Greer the benefit of the doubt right now. That he knows what he's doing with this, and that he has faith that he's going to land either Sobrini or the following year, um, Hadgens or Misa. Yeah, because that'll make this kind of make more sense. Kind of, yes. Um... It's still going to be painful to trade away Hurdle, but like we do have to kind of build for the future. <sighs> And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for that, but you have to build for the future because you have no present right now. There's no, oh. but this fan is base is going to be irate because that it's just 21st and Edstrom. Was that officially released? We're, it, that's what Darren Drager had put out. The Sharks have not put out a press. Okay. Release so I'm going to yet. Okay. I'm, I'm going to wait till the Sharks pull it out to start snapping at them. Um, because this this is it, it, uh, again. Let's that makes no sense. I'm I'm trying to see if there is a presser. AJ, I know you get the same emails. Let me know if they're supposed to have a, a Greer presser. Um, they they I believe they are. That's what I was hearing. Um. Let's see. Um, so at twelve thirty, at twelve thirty, the sharks will have a skate. So they're about to get on the ice right now. Uh, player and coach availabilities will be conducted following that time. So we'll be hearing from a lot from Max Miller and company at that point. Uh, <laughs> uh, Iron the B plug eight thirty one. He's currently at work, <laughs> and. You know, that that's the worst place because I'm sure he is going up and down around there saying, F this, F this, F this, F this. Um, you know, and you can you can see it. You can see it. Um, uh, Shang now, who's at the rink right now. Thanks, Shang. Uh Optional practice was scheduled to start at 1230 and there's no one on the ice. Would guess there are some good buys going on in the room right now. Sorry. Um, don't, don't. Don't be sorry. Don't, don't be sorry. Don't I'm be sorry. trying to process this and come up with what the 
like I think I know like okay here's the thing I'm torn I love Hurdle he's my one of my favorite players I grew up watching him but like I just I'm confused by this trade <laughs> well that makes every f- fan in the Sharks fan base <laughs> um okay Thank you, Kevin Lacey. Just DM'd me. Enstrom was 28 on my draft board last year. Good defensive center whose offense might bloom late. Essentially exactly what his Josh Norris scouting report was. Um, and I trust Lacey with prospects. Right. So take that. I think so. Here, he, here's here's a little thing. These young kids are fucking magic beans. You never know what the fuck they're gonna turn into. What I appreciate what Greer's doing is he's collecting just a ton of magic beans and seeing what happens. Because the Sharks are not going to be good this year. The Sharks are not going to be good next year. I think the Sharks are going to start to see some of their core come together in 2026, 2027. So that's fine. I think Enstrom is going to be good. I think liked him when Vegas drafted I actually I don't I think I had mixed reactions on him so I'm not going to say that I had mixed reactions on him because I I didn't really look that much into him because the Sharks were not in that range to draft him um I will throw more shit in the discord about Enstrom later tonight but like he he's a he's a good pros they got their top prospects in the Vegas system and you just don't see that often like Ian said like you don't see a top prospect get moved from an organization lately so the fact that they got that is good. Um, but sorry, I'm that's I'm trying to make a. I know people are upset about Hurdle. I'm not trying to seem like I don't care about Hurdle. I'm just trying to spin this in a little bit of a different way. No, I. But I don't think I can do that right now. I <laughs> totally get that. Um. Flames have a trade in line. I think we just have to wait for the final thing because we can speculate all the fuck we want until I see in paper what the fuck's happening. I'm I'm not going to start yelling at the Sharks. This is going to be quite, quite interesting here. Um, Okay, people chill on Greer resigning and fucking Twitter. God fucking damn it. Give the guy a minute. He just kind of got here. (laughs) Let's see how this plays out. Um. Yeah. Anyways, we were not expecting this when we on we when we got on air today. No, no. Um. What I wanted to do. Not what? Okay, Twitter. Yeah, there's they're they're showing some. The tweets now on ESPN. We need FBI investigation on the Vegas Golden Knights. How do they do this? They they they, they don't. They, they it's called LTIR. And again, this is not just a Vegas thing. This has been a Tampa thing. You know, number one bullshit. Um. Okay. So. And, and you know, Nick Floor. Uh, another f- friend. Uh, people really don't get how badly no movement causes crippled the selling teams leverage, and it shows. I think the final trade just went up, and you're about to fucking lose your shit, pal guy. Oh goody. Um, I saw it on the disc. Is that the final one, guys? But no free. Tra- okay, let's wait until we get the actual fucking. Uh, I want to wait until I see it from like. Sorry, I'm not trying to ignore anybody. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that. Uh, Mark Edward Vlasic has put out a tweet with the uh, crying, the sobbing eye emoji. Um, seems, yeah, like people are saying seems reasonable. Couture's career, this is not from a reporter, but like, I think Couture's might be done. <laughs> All right. So TSN has, is confirming this. So Vegas receives Tomas Hurdle with 17% retained salary. Vegas also gets a 2025 third round pick. All right. Vegas also gets a 2027 third round pick. And the San Jose Sharks get the 2025 first round pick and David Edstrom. 
TSN um, is, is that the official one? The saying Golden Knights get hurdle from Sharks pending trade call. So again, they're still waiting for this to go through. Um, so, um, the um, I don't get the third round picks. I think it's because Vegas had to eat like is taking a buttload of salary with this. Because like if if Hurdle wasn't on an extension, I think the Sharks get it done with a first and Edstrom. You um, also and just oh, to ahead. Vegas. Sorry, no, I, I get why people are mad about the thirds, um, but like it, it kind of makes sense why Vegas got those. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It, I think it's just like the amount of money Vegas has to take on with this. It, like yes, but you, the Sharks would. We kind of knew the Sharks would need to probably add a like. I know it's Hurdle; he's a really good player. Uh, but like teams are just dying for cap space. I don't fucking know how to make this into a good thing. <laughs> I'm trying, y'all. It's not a good thing. You, you got, I mean, I can't. I can't wait for us to use the cap space next year. Then we have going. we have six million to use plus the cap is going up. I mean, we can go after some great free agents. You know, like William Neal. Oh wait, damn. How about Elias Pet? Oh no. Okay. Um. Um, yeah, I mean, it's no. just, it, it's, it's, I don't get why we gave up the two third round picks. Listen, the Sharks can't draft in the third round. So if you want a positive side from there, there you fucking go. Um, well, I want the official thing from the Sharks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And. And like Mark just tweeted, we're still waiting on the Barbie deal. Who was told he was being moved? And that that might also be in the in the can, you know. Like I'm curious if that's combined. I'm there has to be more to this. I love TSN. I don't know if they got the full info here. I actually don't love TSN. I don't could give two shits about TSN right now. But my phone is blowing up. Yeah. Um, uh, this this is. One of those days. Uh, yeah. AJ, uh, you've been through a lot this year, buddy. 90 days without a smoke. Hey, congratulations on that, though. You, you stick taps to you for that. But now nah, I'm fiending. No, dude. No. You got to stay with it. This, we got it. We got to have, we got to have it. And, and, and Landy, buddy, good to see you in here. This is a ridiculous end of Vegas. I think more than anything, if it was another team besides Vegas, I'm sure this wouldn't be a thing but it's vegas and that's where a lot of sharks fans are having an issue you know and down the road this is and pat you're right this is what you want to see but this one hurts today because now you thought we hit rock bottom you thought we hit rock bottom and then next thing you know you step out on the ice i, I don't know i guess it'd be stepping out on the ice uh, and you know without any slippery resistant shoes um, and just taking a full on slip. Um, I really <laughs> wish we had TSN coverage down here right now. <laughs> Bob for... McKenzie is semi-retired walks in the studio on deadline day and breaks the Tomas hurdle to Vegas trade that nobody saw coming and then just goes home for the rest of the day. I think he was trying to get on a flight to Florida. I think he said earlier in the thing. So I don't want to yeah. cry myself to sleep. Oh, yeah. oh fuck me. We're, yeah, no, sorry. I should not say that. Oh, um, you shouldn't say that. No, you don't want those I was, DMs. I know. I was reacting to something in the Teal Town chat. Um, but um, okay. So all right, I'm gonna try to make a positive spin on it. People can get mad. Oh, at me good that. luck. Good no, luck. I don't give a fuck. People can get mad at me. Okay, so I love Tomas Hurdle. Would like to put that out there before I start talking this blabbering shit. You gotta think Vegas is gonna have to give up some players next year when inevitably they're like a hundred million dollars over the cap. Um, and so I think that's where the third round picks come in, is just because of the amount of money Vegas has to take on. And I know the sharks are retaining, don't come yelling at me in the comments comments. David Enstrom has a chance to be like a, a kind of a steal, I will say, from what I'm reading, from what I've heard. He has a chance to be kind of a steal. You could be getting a very good top 
like at the floor a very good uh third line center. Like that I feel like that's his floor. His ceiling is kind of a probably a number two center in the league, I would say, is his ceiling. Or even if he like somehow shocks everyone, he's a number one center. That twenty twenty five pick, from what I piecing together, that twenty twenty five draft is ridiculous. Um, you have two guys at the top who are like monsters and it's not going to be the two guys at the top because I'm pretty sure the Sharks are going to be one of those two top guys. Um, but you're getting probably two pieces of your core down the future in exchange for right now, some pain. We you're getting have, two... I, sorry, I oh. hate to break it. Uh, Frank Saravalli saying that the flames are grabbing Nikita Ohotiuk from the Sharks pending a completion of the trade call. So what? we are not done yet, folks. Uh, what? Okay, Greer, I I need you to take a minute because I can't keep on fucking defending you. To be fair, I don't care about Nikita Hutu. But what? So, so they're getting something from Calgary for Nikita Hutu on that. I would also have to emphasize, and I need to try to pull up cap friendly, but they're having issues right now. Uh, to fit Hurdle's salary this year um i don't know <laughs> um sorry D- but yeah i don't listen oh how to curdle bear boniface of hockey jerk yeah we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna just so, do a, a i don't know if i made anyone feel better with that but think about it that way the sharks are getting two pieces of their future core right now in this trade um and greer i haven't been super upset with his drafting so that's all I'm going to say if they end up having to, if those thirds are actually given to Vegas, that's all I will say. And I know Hurdle is a beloved part of this team. Like I watched it, like he was the reason I got into a Sharks. Like the first fucking jersey I got was a Tomas Hurdle jersey. I still have it up on my fucking wall. Yeah. And, and I get it. It's hard. Like I'm not going to lie. It, it is hard and it's not going to get easier right now as Sharks fans. Like I will fully admit to that. We're going to get fucking demolished on Twitter. And, for and, this trade, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's more to to on the Vegas side to make sure this happens. This gets. I would not happens. be surprised if they gave up, if there's something not saying that they had to give up a Ross or player to make this trade work. I will not be so fucking surprised. I also love how my followers are suddenly just growing because of this trade. Oh God, people, y'all need help. Um. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. Sorry. I, I was going to go off on the Sharks again. I mean, honestly, not yet. Let's let you cleaving. <laughs> that sounds so mean. And AJ, you, you are right. We better look back on this seven years from now and remember remember when we lost our shit over Hurdle getting traded? Yeah. That would be, that'd be nice. Also, people, stop freaking out, freaking out about the fucking retention slots. They only have one year where they're not going to have any flexibility and the Sharks right. are not going to have any fucking good contracts or good players to fucking trade. Chill. I think I think more on, on that sense, in that sense, I think um, it's it's about how they could have been a broker and got more picks out of that in the long term. They weren't. Greer doesn't seem to want to fucking do that at all. Greer wanted to basically say, fuck everything Doug Wilson brought in, shoot it out the fucking window. Yeah. And that's it. Like, yeah. I'm not worried about that. They have one year where they have minimal fucking cap flexibility. I want them to go out and draft very well these next two drafts. Because you don't, you you have to build from the fucking draft. Vegas is a fucking team in the wild who just is acquiring, ever, well, bless them, and I want the Sharks to do that when they're good again. Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to shut up. But like. No, no, keep going. It's, I mean, if we shut up, we're, we're, we're you know, no, but keep going. Keep going. But the rest alone. Yeah, no, and I know that. No, I know. Sorry. Like, and I get that. Like, uh, the lad network, I get what you're saying, Jules, but the ret alone is worth two. Yeah. And I, and I get that. But like it, I know, I know it hurt. And again, I'm trying to make a positive spin out of nothing right now. Um, so yeah. But you know, um, let me see. Can I pull up the, I remember Chat. when people freaked out about Myers. Yeah, we we're, we're, we freak out about every. Well, yeah, because it is fresh. But the thing is, is that this it, it is hurdle. Th- there's that's that's the point. 
you know, it's fucking hurdle. It's not Timo. And I fucking love also to be fair, that Timo trade kind of backfired on a lot of people, but right. <laughs> and so is the Carlson. The Carlson deal is on track to backfire. Also, did it just get released officially? Oh no, it's just locked up. Um, but like the Carlson deal is at this point, the sharks may be getting the 11th overall pick in this draft. So like, some trades that look really and this trade could honestly I could say this statement out of my mouth and it's going to backfire horribly on me in 10 years. But like some trades at the beginning look like absolute garbage. And then five years down the road, the team that everyone was bashing looks like a fucking winner. I'm not saying this is going to happen with this trade. I'm not. But I'm saying that's something to consider. <laughs> Jesse Granger from. um the Athletic covers the Vegas Golden Knights uh, tweeted out, and AJ, thank you for retweeting it. This photo of uh, by Tomas Hodel by Steve Marcus uh, of the Las Vegas Sun from 2021 is fantastic. I wonder if Mark Stone will pick him up from the airport. And it's a picture of Mark Stone and Tomas Hurdle in a fight. I remember this. From, I think this was right around the uh, time Patty had his celebration in in that um, shortened COVID year. But let's see what the return is for a Hotu, because I feel like Calgary um, may have overpaid for that. That'd be nice. And that yeah, nice. people, that... thank you. Shout out to this guy, Josh, on Twitter. If you don't follow him, he's a good follow. You wanted the Sharks to blow it up? Here you fucking go, baby. Yep, there you go. Take it you, you want, fucking yeah. for what it is. Everybody sure. better jump on Team Tank now. Fucking jump on Team Tank. Fucking jump on getting... If we miss... Okay, I know this is bearing the fucking lottery balls that hate our guts. But, like, Celebrini, James Hadgens, Michael Misa, Ivan Levishnov. Ivan Levishnov. <laughs> Levishnov. Not Ivan. Kazintesh. Levishnov. Quinton Musty. You want to know who's leading the NCAA in points right now? A Sharks prospect. You want to know who's leading the OHL in points? A Sharks prospect. Respectively, Will Smith and Quinton Musty. And throw in Luca Cagnoni. And throw in Luca been... Cagnoni. Like, you wanted a rebuild? We are getting a rebuild. It's just the worst possible rebuild ever. But it's a rebuild. <laughs> Please give us Dustin Wolf from Calgary. Oh, I mean, that'd be great. But he's got to work on getting, taking that, high I may shots. not be crying myself to sleep tonight. Um, I'm joking, by the way. Like, <laughs> But, oh, that's the <sighs> game tomorrow is going to be fucking painful to yeah hey if you ever want to meet us in person tomorrow will be a, probably a great day to do that uh myself jules uh dana and felix will all be at the game we will be doing teal town after dark live from the tank following the game so uh be on the look for it uh uh patrick you know how i've been screaming from the mountaintops that we haven't hit rock bottom yet in discord well, this is it. But yeah, no. Yeah. No, you're right. You're absolutely right, Pat. You are absolutely right. Um, So can they just make... I feel like there's more to this fucking trade. Uh, Elliot Friedman is is tweeted out. Oh, Sounds like the Flames this year. are requiring Nikita Ohotiuk from the Sharks for a fifth-round pick this sure. year. Why not? Uh, Why not? Why not? Yeah. We're hearing so that is from... Barabanov staying? That's... Do we know that? Flames also just signed Rooney to a one point three million dollar extension. Oof. Um. Marin Real Estate Photography and Video. Uh, hello, nice, nice way to get the plug in. Uh, I'm less upset about Hurdle going to Vegas than I am about Couture not being traded to a contender. Would have been great well... to see Cooch and the Big Pavelski together in Dallas. Well, here's the thing with that: we don't know how healthy. Couture is, which means no one's going to be doing that. Uh, it's going to be going after it right now. Um, you know, that's that's the problem. Uh, easy market saying rebuild when we are already cup contenders. Yeah. So we'll be seeing that. Uh, <laughs> when are we going to be cup contenders? I don't know. We are. It's just going to take some time. Yeah. Um, by the weekend, it looks like they will be eliminated officially from the playoff. Great. Race. Um, just to add on to more pain uh, for the Sharks. Uh, they are still not saying anything about the trade on ESPN at the moment. Uh, just the initial report. So we're still waiting for that. We're still. That's what I'm saying. This feels like a fucking Timo trade 2.0. Yeah. 
I yeah. feel like honestly, this has to be Tino oh, God. Yeah, and I think, and, and you know what? Like I said before, they probably have to make some other traits for the hurdle trait to work. So they That's probably have what, it yeah. on the call and then try and move it down in there. Now, I will say this, and we're talking 30 some odd years ago for the Sharks. The Sharks were on the verge of trading Kelly Kissio to the Chicago Blackhawks for Adam Creighton. The catch there was the fax machine didn't work in time and a trade never got to the league offices in time. So we'll see. So, uh, anywho, so if you're just joining us, we were just going to talk about, you know, the, the couple of moves that the Sharks did do uh, earlier in the day and last night. Uh, but then Tomas Hurdle happened. So, um, so while we, while we hopefully wait for this deal to come through, and, and poor Ian, I feel for Ian. Uh, we are planning to be on at five o'clock tonight to go over the entire uh, trade <laughs> deadline. I'm, sure I, I'm just, I'm just talk about. You know, I'm, I'm just waiting. You know, you know what's going to happen, Jules? I'm just waiting for Ian to say, "F my job, I'm out of here," and then I'm going to get a call from uh, Ian to just jump in on this. <laughs> no, honestly, oh, it's official. It is official. Okay, people okay, chill. No one's go. firing. Gr oh wait, is this was this the? Tr I I don't I, don't I think see it's official. Old knights. Or... Well, no, I meant I think Trade Center just posted it. I'm seeing a photo from Trade Center. Oh fuck, never mind. Ignore that. Ignore that. Okay. Ignore that. Let's be careful. People, let's not fire Greer. All right, people on Twitter. Not yet. Not on yet. your fucking horses. You wanted a rebuild. We're getting a rebuild. Okay, chill. Uh, Danny Webster. The Golden Knights acquired Anthony Mantha, Noah Hannafin, and Tomas Hurdle in a span of three plus days without removing anyone from the active NHL roster. That is They're, they phenomenal. just have the most shit just turn the NHL. Just give Kelly McCrimmon GM of the year if they somehow steal the division from Vancouver. I mean Watch we talked them about lose in the first round. We talked about last year. Well let's see. If they're the la Oh wow. Hey, how about this, Jules? What's up? How about this? If the playoffs, I, I, and I hate to, I used to do this in the voice of our good friend Rocket Backhander. If the playoffs started tomorrow, be Vegas versus Dallas. I believe it's Vegas versus Dallas. Or no, 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 Vegas versus Dallas. Uh, it would be Vegas versus Vancouver. Oh, that's a fun one. So, while we still wait, while we still wait. Um, if the playoffs started tomorrow, it would be Vegas, Vancouver, Edmonton, LA, um, Dallas, Nashville, Winnipeg, Colorado in the West, uh, in the East right now, it would be, it would be, uh, the battle of Florida again, uh, Florida, Tampa Bay, uh, Boston, Toronto. Oh boy, Dangle's gonna lose this crap there. Uh, the Rangers and Detroit, and Carolina and Philly. Uh, so, yeah, um, yeah, I don't. Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did we Shane, get any official confo from we have anything? Not, we have not yet. Uh, I'm still keeping an eye on that. Uh, Yeah, uh, Shang saying uh, told the Flyers were in on a hooked uke at the end, so there was a bidding war for him. Oh, fun. Uh, 2017 Colorado Avalanche people. What was it, 49 points that Colorado had at that point? And, and then they had some guy named Nathan McKinnon, and then what happened? Uh, you know, so uh, while we wait for official confirmation, um, let's go over some of the things that have happened for the sharks uh we'll we'll talk about jack thompson 6-1 defenseman that we got from the you know, from the anthony Duclair trade that we had to send a seventh round pick for uh we got also tampa's third round pick in that move as well uh he was in the ahl all-star game for the syracuse crunch he was the 
third round pick uh, for the Tampa Bay Lightning in the 2020 draft. Uh, right-handed shooting defenseman. That should be uh, pretty good, eh? That's uh, I like that move. Um, he's a guy. I mean, if you watch some of his highlights, like he does look like he's playing forward, which is kind of funny. Um, but like the Sharks' defensive side is just so lacking right now um, with their prospects. So getting a right D, that that's a that's a good that's a good trade there for uh, the Sharks. Yeah. So you have that going for them, and then earlier. We had Clem Costin come over to the... Oh, and we now have official confirmation. Well, no, from Nikita for Nikita Hotuk. Yes. Conditional fifth-round selection. What are the fucking conditions? Oh, yeah. I'm Now I'm really curious. What are the conditions for <laughs> Nikita Hotuk? If he stops one defensive... If he makes one defensive play? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ESPN Plus. Uh ESPN's draft uh, show has concluded, so that means ESPN Plus will have TSN back on. Thank God. Uh, no disrespect to Bucci or Kaplan and company, uh, but uh, that that's frustrating. <laughs> um, so okay. we are at the 1 p.m. hour, 4 p.m. on the East Coast. If you're just joining us, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit uh hit that subscribe button on there uh for that uh let me see if the email has come through on the trade for okotuk uh sharky has now just tweeted out fun must be always you were the turtle package at tomash hurdle uh so um we're we're eagerly anticipating this stuff. Um, the the fact no that it email. hasn't yeah. been tells me there might be more to this trade. Like, I just, I don't know. I'm really hoping there is. Yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's probably, there are probably some issues that have to do it now. But now, if there are issues that are outside this trade parameter, um, it, you know, they have to do it within the Sharks in Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, AJ with the official breakdown, the conditional 2024 fifth round selection from the Flames in exchange for a Kotiuk. San Jose will receive the highest of Chicago's selection at the time of the draft that the Blackhawks own. Wait, what? So, so do they have two of the Blackhawks picks? So I'm guessing the uh, I guessing they have control of, of sh Chicago's fifth round pick. The uh, Flames do. And, oh, I see what. Okay, I see what they're saying. Yeah, and they'll go with that on their on their own and uh, at the draft. So they'll get the higher pick. Hey, something in the in our favor. Yay! Woohoo! Yes. Yes. Yeah. So uh, that's that's interesting. Uh -huh. So. Uh yeah, and and seeing it that that it's just crazy. Mm. <laughs> oh, Kevin, thank you. The hurdle trade is probably smoke and mirrors to distract us when we find out Blackwood to Edmonton for a seventh in like fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh God, no. Um. Oh God. Yeah. No, that's a good one. We can uh, Logan's. No one is taking Vlasic. No, of course not. No, that. that and, and now with that salary attention for Hurdle, do you do you really want to put a buyout for Vlasic? I think you just let him. You just let him go, uh, and stay here. Oh 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 oh! I got a notification. Cool. This, this is fun. Oh, it was Teal Town going yeah. live. Oh. We're live. AJ, I wasn't aware. Yeah, we're 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 doing it live. Uh, <laughs> this broke live. I I did not know. This I don't know, this I know what broke, the fuck just happened in my life. This broke at eleven fifty five a.m. Pacific time, uh, with the Tomas Hurdle trade going. Uh, it's 
Yes. Uh, condition from a previous trade, San Jose will receive the better of the 22 2024 fifth round picks that Chicago owns. So whatever Chicago owns in those picks, uh, San Jose will get in that move. So. Uh, this is something else. Um, um Jesus Christ. Um. Yeah. Let's see what the I. I don't even think this is all. Th this is uh, Ryan Hoyton. <laughs> we should call this the hurt all trade. Gonna hurt for a long time. Well, they make it worse <laughs> if Hurdle's name's on the Stanley Cup soon. But um, also half wall hockey just tweeted not to try to make this situation better. I have mostly sad reactions, but I will say if you really think Edenstrom is going to become a third line center. He is going to be filling the same role that Hurdle will very soon in his career. So there's that for you. That should kind of just, you know, he the the kid has a good draft profile. And if you want to join the Discord, join the Discord because I'll post some of the stuff about Enstrom in there also. I I hope he's more than a third line center. I think he will be. I think again that's if, his if he's a if they're projecting him to be just a third line center. No, no, no. no. Oh, news? No, I'm. Okay. Uh, there's. I have have trade center back on where I'm just. But um, yeah, like I'll I'll throw more in the Discord tonight. Yeah. Um, avocado flight. We're not sure what's happening. I don't think. Um. Like I don't. Yeah, I know they're retaining 1.6 of his contract for six years. Yeah. Like we we know that, but. Yeah, it, I'm just, I think, re, like, remember what happened with the Timo trade where there was just constant additions? Right, and how they had to swap players out for something they else. They had to swap there players to... out. Like, until we see the official tweet by the teams, let's not, like, probably the thirds are involved, but I would not be surprised if the Sharks got something else also. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and we can just sit in this weird-ass fucking trade. <sighs> Anyways... Yeah, on TSN, there, you know, Duthie is mentioning, are the teams furious about this or what? What teams? Uh, the, what Vegas is doing? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure GMs are not happy right now. But yeah. But also, like, like props to Vegas. <laughs> yeah. They they found ways around it, and, and like, are they going to be in cap hell and have to go through a giant ass rebuild in a few years? Absolutely. They won't care because they could have at least one or two. Yeah. times that they're on that Stanley Cup. And that's two times more than the Sharks have, and that's a whole lot more than the Leafs had in the last 50, 60 years. Now, if you're a Leafs fan right now, you're probably thinking, holy shit. Where, where is it? So, um, Who said we got Bryson? What? No. Huh? Oh, no, no, you're good. Oh, breaking news. The San the New Jersey Devils are trading goaltender uh, Vanacek to the San Jose Sharks for Ka goalie Kakinen. So, who are you what getting that from? What the fuck? Who are you getting that from? Let's let's uh, Kevin make Kevin Weeks. Kevin, Kevin Weeks. Weeks is saying that? Yep. Kevin Weeks just now. So, breaking seconds. news, breaking news. Vanacek, Vanacek is going to the Sharks. For Capo Kakinen. Oh, <laughs> so don't tell me he wasn't being held back for trade reasons oh, last trade night. Just gets better and better. Don't for us. tell me that they were. <laughs> oh, we're playing. Is it games. one for one? It must be. So I'm. I'm. Okay. <laughs> Do, does. The, do the Devils really think that they have a chance of getting into this playoffs the, right now? What the fuck are the Devils doing? Okay, so they, they've they acquired Jake Allen and now Capo Kakinen. Yeah. That's not a good tandem. <laughs> while, while, while last summer, trading Mackenzie Blackwood to the Sharks. Who? <laughs> Who I bet they wish they had. Uh, but everyone's mind is going to be on the hurdle. What is Vanacek's contract? Can someone please let me know? Because I'm, con I I would like the Sharks to get a draft this pick if it is... doesn't expire this year. Mm. 
This is something else. Let's see. Vanacek. To be fair, I was like bashing Pittsburgh, so it only serves me right that uh, the Sharks completely get fucked over this. Vitek Vanacek. Okay, so he's a UFA in 25-26. Okay, 3,400,000. Greer, stop taking these What? Please get a draft pick in return. Please get a fucking draft pick in return. Please get a draft pick. It's in uh, this, this is. I mean, you had Mackenzie Blackwood. <laughs> Wait, no, just get a draft pick in return. I want to laugh. This at is the funny. I need now. a team to laugh this at right now. This is funny. You had Mackenzie Blackwood. You traded him to the Sharks. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my, oh god. my fucking. What the fuck are the devils? What are the sharks doing? What is anyone doing except for Vegas? What Vegas just right built now? a fucking juggernaut of the team. Like, fuck the three or third round picks. The Vegas is going to fucking trade those away, y'all. I can guarantee you. Fuck those. And now, and now, you, now you have like, all, you have all the, it. Like, the, the NHL has the fucking Golden State Warriors 2.0. Right in front of them, the like fuck those third round picks. If you think those th- the fuck that they're gonna trade them away for God knows who else, it doesn't matter. Do not care. The Vegas Golden Knights every single year go get the best fucking players available, and no other GM has the guts to do what they do. Yeah. Props for Greer for honestly getting this contract off the, like not like like to another team. Like props to him. I think if Greer was GM, he would have traded Hurdle two years ago. This had to be done, whatever. But it had I'm to be done. But you him. you basically are sitting, if you're basically sitting on on two million dollars back, you know, you're basically no, and I get that, that 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 salary cap increase basically is going to help support Hurdle. No, yeah, and listen, which means you're helping the Vegas Golden Knights. You know, okay, listen, <laughs> fuck that. Um, also, ah! it's really funny how Vitek Vanacek and Mackenzie Blackwood are a goalie duo again. They were go- goaltender duos in a Vegas. Uh, fuck, not Vegas. Any news? Hello? Oh. My screen's frozen, so I don't know what's happening. Um, and I don't know if you guys can hear me. So if anyone in the chat would like to comment that they hear me, that'd be awesome. No, uh, I can, okay. you are, you're good. <laughs> Fuck, I died, lol. Um, yeah, it, it's funny how the... And <sighs> and let's let's be honest. we, we They have their Boston ties. He, Greer has his New York ties. He was also in... In f- with the New Jersey Devils, I believe, as assistant coach, if I'm not mistaken. So we're we're getting we're getting really really <clears throat> familiar with everything. What I will say is, Greer's just keep on roll ro- like rolling the dice on goalies, and, and I can't be upset about that. Like keep trying goalies, see who fits, see who doesn't. Um, but yeah, I'm we're still waiting on the official. Um. Yeah, Greer has really just taken this team and has completely turned it upside down and just saying, we're tearing this whole fucking thing down because nothing is working. <sighs> Stay tuned for tonight when Ian goes on a complete rampage well, about this hurdle deal. We're going to have fun tonight. I'm going to cry. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, what is... Oh, wellness check needed? Oh, no, that... that <laughs> No, I I don't need a fucking wellness check. I need, I need. I need David a team Enst- that that wants to win a cup in, in within the next ten fuck years. That, fuck, th- th- listen, you know, listen. Give a damn for crying out loud. Give a they're damn. Gonna, they, they do give a damn. Why do you think they're rebuilding? Yeah, they, I know, if they they're... weren't rebuilding, that would I would agree with you that they don't give a damn. But they're they're trying. They're rebuilding. This is what we wanted. Did you get hurdle, enough for hurdle? Um, was hurdle? No, was supposed but... to be a bridge to that. 
He's supposed to help things out. Hell, what was it? I think Jerk said uh, on there that uh, uh, that uh, Duclair was a key component in helping uh, Bordolo with his game. That's yeah, concerning. So I'm wondering how fractured this locker room is. It, I, I think, okay. Here, and that's speculation. Thing. We don't know. Yeah, that that is definitely speculation. But um, I I will say this. I just lost my train of thought. I will not be saying anything today. <laughs> um, listen, like, did the sharks get enough for hurdle? Fuck no. Am I making an excuse? They should have traded him two years ago to make myself feel better. Absolutely yes. Am I praying to God David Enstrom turns into like the top two, one of the best centers in the league? Absolutely yes. <laughs> Like, I don't know. What please, to say please, you know, and, you know, I and also Patrick, would not be surprised. Know, I, I, sorry, it's, go. No, sorry. I was going to say, Patrick, you know, they care at LMAO. Rebuilds don't happen overnight. Yep. I know. I know. But it's, in the meantime, you are just going, um, you know, now, now everything's to bare bones and it's like, okay. Yeah, and that's give us something of... to cheer about, you know, who 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 do we who do we have? Eklund, Smith, not here yet. Not here yet. But that's they the will They're not here yet. They will. Be. Okay, and we also have another trade for the Sharks, according what? to Elliot Friedman and Sleepy Mofo. Thank you for giving me the heads up for this. So from Elliot Friedman, San Jose is making a couple of goalie moves. Capo Kakinen to New Jersey for Vitek Vanacek. Yeah, I love the one. alliteration. And then also AHL's uh, Ro- Rochester's Devin Cooley from Buffalo. Ooh, for what? A third so. round pick? Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't tell me it's a third round pick, though. Oh, I'm sure we added like a 2024 sixth or something. You know, the Sharks just, love doing that. It, it's frustrating, I know. And you're just throwing away draft draft material as they well. They can't draft in the third round, though. So that's uh, oh, seventh round pick, a 2025 seventh round pick. Uh, Felix in the just tweeted or <laughs> because we needed to say something. Wait, what? No, hold on. We have acquired a. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, Devin Cooley. What is this man's numbers? He's from Los Gatos and played with the tr- uh, Junior Sharks. Uh, Shang had it uh, said that, and also Churro Man. So thank you for that. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. You know, so that uh, just another Randy G. You had a super chat donation. I want to get that out. Thank you very much. Of course, uh, super chats go help support this program and keep the lights on and pays for the SoundCloud and and renewing the uh, keeps website. us alive. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, if oh, they gave a God, damn. They wouldn't be copying the sabers. And selling everything that isn't nailed down. Look how that has worked out for Buffalo. And that's the big thing, too. When you go through a rebuild, when you go through a rebuild, you need to see something come up very soon. You know, and unfortunately, you know, for Buffalo, they just let it slip away. And now they're on the rebuilding for the rebuild. So let's hope the Sharks don't get there. Yeah. You know. Needed to bolster. Oh, why? Who is this man? He. What are. His, okay. Uh, 14 uh, games played, six wins, six losses, 3.7 goals against, 8.91 save percentage. He had a. Greer, who the fuck did you just get? He went to the University of Denver. So is Barabanov just not on the move? I almost fall off my chair. I'm uh, the Bob Father is talking on Trade Center. I'm just making sure that we're at this point. We might be on till five o'clock until Ian gets back. We might from just work. keep keep the whole thing going. Why not at this point? <laughs> Who needs lunch? Who needs dinner? You know. And we'll be on during the Barracuda. We'll see who else is left. You know, so 25-20, uh, seventh round pick. Uh, Kevin Lacey. Cooley is confirmed by Maki Niemi. <laughs> no, honestly, that's probably what that means. Lacey's not wrong. Yeah. 
Uh, the Sharks acquired goaltender Devin Cooley from the Buffalo Sabres in exchange for a seventh round pick originally owned by the Washington Capitals in the 2025 draft. Uh, so he's got an 891 in the AHL. Oh, that's great. I'll help fit in with the... Uh... Again, Greer's just taking gambles on goalies. It's fine. It's a seventh rounder. Fuck it. Sorry, I'm processing my life choices of being a fan of this team. Yeah. Um. Anyways. And, and AJ, you're bringing up the point that I'm trying to kind of emphasize here. I'm so looking forward to the start of the 29-30 NHL season. The problem with that is, is that we're already having attendance issues. And this is what they were worried about, you know, when they want to have a rebuild. They had to learn that they needed to do a rebuild. The problem is, is that you got to try to bring back people when you're good. And it's already tough that the Bay Area media doesn't give a shit about you because, you know, you're 10 minutes away from Levi's and it's all about Brock Purdy and Christian McCaffrey. And don't get me wrong, guys. I love my Niners. I love my Giants. I'm okay with the Warriors. And I feel awful about the A's. But all those get more attention. Hell, Bay FC is getting way more attention. The earthquakes get more attention than the sharks get in the in the in the like sports a, atmosphere in the Bay Area, and that's what concerns me. Have been me. in a rebuild for like thirteen years, so. but yeah. uh, listen, if this is done the right way, the sharks will have a very good core. But this uh, has to go right. They have to develop their prospects right because you really can only rebuild through a draft. And that's what the Sharks have finally come to terms and realize. Yeah. Uh, Shang is saying, I expect Granlin and Ferraro to stay put. Neither player has received any notification that they are on the move. Great. The Devin Cooley is 26 years old. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Have fun. So that makes me wonder what's going on with Blackwood. With Blackwood. Well, not necessarily Blackwood. So it'd be Blackwood and then it'd be Blackwood and then Vanacek and then Cooley will be with the Cuda. Uh, I think it's sorry. Um, I don't fucking I can't explain what this team is doing. I think they just need some stabilizers in the Cuda because you have two young guns and Corona and uh, Romanov. Magnus Krohn is the Sharks' number one goalie today. Yikes. Nope, not anymore. Welcome Vitek Vanacek, who's back with Mackenzie Blackwood. But again, this this begs the question, what's going on in New Jersey? They don't know what the fuck they're doing just like the Sharks don't. Oh, you know, and that's the thing. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. And, you know, I think Martin Jones was, what, 25 when, when he started doing the things, you know? Uh... <laughs> My mom is on here. That's that's right. And and oh, AJ, I'm you're so, so sorry, right. Hawkeye's mom. Yeah, uh, of the, the things I've said. The, oh, please! Are you kidding me? She, where do you think the feistiness comes from? Uh, she says, AJ, <laughs> you're so right. The sharks are always late to figure things out. Yeah. Um, well, they they just took forever to fix long to figure out that they need a fucking rebuild the team. Yeah. So, and now they're doing it. Now so they're doing it. I mean, again, this had to happen. We didn't expect my, Hurdle my, my, to happen. Uh, my hoodie matches this perfectly. Silly Goose University, eh? Is that what they call Daniel Gushin? Silly Goose? Well, uh, who the fuck is going to pass the Daniel Gushin now? Uh, has a trade? I haven't seen anything from the Sharks, and I'm just going to base it off what the Sharks tweet out because I don't really trust anyone else right now. Yeah. Um... So yeah, but we, no, I, I haven't, haven't seen anything officially yet. Um, but Devin Cooley is Los Gatos born, so local boy does come home. He'll be with the, most likely with the Cuda unless something happens. Um, you know, uh, I'm afraid to open up that link, AJ. I'm really afraid to open up that link because I know Sinbin has been still butt hurt from the quote unquote hashtag not a major, and you know that's. That's the problem I have part of it with it going to Vegas. Um, I'm just looking at it. 
Oh, so when do the when do the sharks play the devils? Eh, a shutout by Kakanen. Uh, they just missed. Uh, they just played the devils this past week. Where they, where they? I mean, when the devils re-sign Kakanen and he puts up like a nine forty-five. Oh, you know, it's gonna be like the Ben Scrivens game from years ago, where Ben Scrivens <laughs> makes his Edmonton debut and gets a fifty-four save shutout against the Sharks. Because okay, so they've confirmed the Devin Cooley trade, but still haven't confirmed. That tells me there's more to that hurdle. There, there, guys. They're still there trying to figure to out the parameters of it all. Yeah, there has so. to be because there, there's no way that that deal goes through if the parameters were set. Right. So and yeah, so take a deep breaths, deep breaths, everyone. And hey, I know it's it's Simbin showing off the the Golden Knights jersey. Um, I, I just wish they had their reverse retro because that one's probably their nicest one of them all or either one of them. That would have been nice. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, so we are, we're, we're still looking here. Um, and I love how this trade is already, is already getting graded by uh, Dom Lecision and Sean. Uh, Vitek Vanacek for Capo Kakinen. Yeah, that's why that's, the fuck is that being graded? No one. Oh, oh we're, we're, uh, uh, the grades that they're giving out. I'm looking, uh, A plus for the Knights, A for the Sharks. Uh, to just get some different, but yeah, everybody's calling it an A for both sides. Uh, you know, and uh, they're. The Golden Knights are doing a trade deadline special on their thing. You don't need to watch because you don't want to see that happening. Um, last minute trade. Yeah, it's a last minute swap for Kakinen and Vanacek uh, for that. So, um, man, they better get Celerini, please. <laughs> According to TSN's mock draft. <clears throat> uh, Dana... First off, safe travels to the Bay Area. Uh, launch me into the sun, please. No. Dana. Yeah, the same. No, 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 no. We're, we're just going to have a nice, and for full disclosure, non-sexually harassing group hug before we do After Dark tomorrow. Okay? I think we might need a therapy session before we do After Dark tomorrow. That's what this is supposed to be. We got to get through the whole well, we, thing. And we then have go not from there. reached therapy yet. That 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 that's a that's a five p.m. That's gonna be very fun, <laughs> Steve. <I'm... laughs> Breaking. We got also got oh, Mark God. Stone's lacerated spleen in a deal. Vegas retains the rest of Mark Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna attach skates to like Mark Stone's spleen? Jesus. Hey, it might have a good upside. I mean, so. Again, the thing with that. Okay, here's what we should all hope for: Vegas falls off a cliff in 2025 because yes, they cannot get under the salary cap. Doesn't matter. They got a cup. Still, if that pick is in the top 16 in 2025, and you also have Pittsburgh's pick. Shark's going to end with three picks in the top 16 of 2025. Bright side. <sighs> yeah. Just... It's funny how I was like, the Sharks are going to do something ridiculous, and here we go. Oh, you hit it on the head. Tomas Hurdle is a Vegas golden, golden night. night. Oh, wait, are, are we done for the day, Sharky? Sharks? I mean, what next? I mean, I'm sure I'm sure we're waiting for Mike Hoffman and Barabanov. Barabanov. What next? I mean, we've had the Sharks have made, what, three trades in the last hour after the trade deadline went kabooey, and technically, and we're still waiting on the biggest piece of it all right now. So um, to... All of you that are joining us, thank you very much. Uh, we are hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, we will be on here. Uh, you know what? You know what happened for the Meyer trade, Jules? First off, I had inventory, so I had to jump off at at six o'clock that night. And of course, Pucknologist was on afterwards. But in between the time that the Meyer trade bro officially broke and Pucknologist came on, the trade happened. 
Makes sense. So. So, yeah. Um, all right. Is anything else breaking? Nothing. Have we calmed down? Is Barbie just staying? So far, Barbie is staying. Or is he going to get added into Vegas? I don't know how you can. I, 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 like, wh- what cap space do they have? Who <laughs> the fuck needs cap space? We've learned this already. <sighs> if, you, if you guys ever wonder why I put Puck Guy 14 on the back of the jersey, this is why. Because I I wanted to put Hurdle on on my Cali fin, not anymore. Yeah, no, that's why I put Jules at the back of my Cali fin. So, oh boy! All right, so uh, today's cap hit for Vegas, bef- and I believe this is before the trade. Ninety million dollars. <laughs> Um, All right. The Sharks have announced the uh, the goaltender swap. Okay, yeah, they um, so just So there's did. that one. So let's see. We, De- we... Oh, they also get the Devils' 2025th seventh round selection. So I was right. There is a pick involved in it. Okay. So it's uh, it's Vanacek plus the 2025 seventh. Mm-hmm. Ah, so we reimburse one seventh with a different seventh. Yes. Now we can find the next Joe Pavelski. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying, guys. There's going to be more to that hurdle deal that the Sharks are going to post. I'm calling it. And if I'm wrong, you can come at me in the comments. But fuck off. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, no. The blockbuster Golden Knights, we have acquired Tomas Hurdle, a 2025th third, and a 2027th third to the San Jose Sharks in exchange for David Entram in a 2025. And so let's make that officially official then. Uh, it, it, it is official. It is official. So Tomas Hurdle... A 2025 third round pick, a 2027 third round pick to the Vegas Golden Knights in exchange for David, Edstrom. For David Edstrom and a 2025 so, first round pick. My guess is Greer's ridiculously high on Edstrom. <laughs> um, b- because, like, it, it, from my understanding, then I think Greer was ridiculously high on Edstrom, and I think they had to add a sweetener i know it's hurdle do not come at me but for cap purposes i don't know how to so anyways that's official so the sharks this deadline uh i don't know they got a first in 2025 because i think they're banking on getting pittsburgh's first this year <sighs> i get people are upset about the thirds but it's I'm going to put it out there. I, I care way more about the top two rounds. <laughs> yeah. And the Sharks just don't draft well in the third round. Uh, so honestly. Pretty good with the 199 Super Chat. Uh, what Thank would be you. a decent haul for back for a hurdle trade? Um, I would have said Enstrom the first and then like maybe one of those thirds or both of those thirds. Like I wasn't super upset when I heard it was both thirds. I just did not expect the Sharks having to give up. It's exactly. really the thirds. Exactly. That's it, I think like, that's what it is. If it was the original trade, I would probably I would be a lot calmer. I love I'm starting to really like Enstrom. I'll do more about that later. I'm glad we got a first in 2025 even if it's at the bottom of the draft and Sportsnet just confirmed it. Even if it's at the bottom even if it's at the bottom of the draft in 2025, because that draft is really deep. I don't love the thirds, but honestly, like unless it's Daniil Gushin or someone else, the Sharks just don't draft well in the third round. Like the Sharks always trade away their third round picks for some odd reason. It's like their go-to sweetener pick when they want to just get a deal done. Um, but like a thing to note is the Sharks should have traded Hurdle two years ago. Yeah. I know it sucks. And... I know it hurts, but that's the facts. Those are the way they presented themselves. Sorry, and Puck. the tough part is, is, it's you somehow have to explain to the fan base you are helping the Vegas Golden Knights for the next six years with two million, and you had That's... to give up two third round picks to also make it happen. Yeah, now, granted, and... Hurdle has a has a limited, you know. Yeah, had, no, has has him has a movement clause, or trade no trade clause, so. 
I think so, Hurdle said something. <laughs> like, I think the sharks were a little strapped here. They had to had have to. been to have to give it. I think Hurdle was like, I want to go to Vegas. And Greer did not sabotage the team. Um, Like, I think there was something we don't know here. Because there's you don't give up two thirds just like that. And I know it's the sharks and people can come at me at it. Um, I, I think Hurdle pushed it and that the trade had to be done. And if it was Hurdle for two first, I would have been perfectly fine. I think two first for Hurdle is actually very acceptable. I appreciate the two first. I think they're you're, they're going to get pretty good players. Um, but yeah. And I'm not trying to come out for anyone in the chat. I'm just saying let's calm down because we had the same reaction to the Timo trade. And I know Timo isn't Hurdle, but there you go. Joe Will is out of here. Yeah, I, I will also say that. There, there's got to be something going on. You know? No, there has to have been. And the six-year retention is going to suck. I'm going to be so honest. But I think uh, I think the Sharks are hoping to get back into competitiveness with a minute that Vlasic deal on. So like three, year, three years. And then you really just kind of have three years of a little bit of hell with that retention and helping the Knights. But I think in like five years, the Knights are falling off the fucking sun of, of the... No, we've, we've been saying that for a while. Okay, puck guy, Lo- like th- the same thing was said about the Sharks for like so long, and then right. they fell and off they a cliff. Found a way. Listen, but all teams have to go through this. Every single team has to go through this. You cannot, at a certain point, it catches up to you. Not when the whole league helps you out. Okay. You know, I mean. I, I get what you're saying. I understand it, but I'm also saying that the Sharks help, like the Sharks trading hurdle had to be done. And I think if this was any other team, we would have a much more calmer sense. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, this is, uh, uh, the sorry. Sharks has put the Sharks have put out the official email now uh, for it. So that is the thing. Is I will final. say. The West and the playoffs. I don't mean to change the subject, but I do want to touch on this. No, that's fine. The the West on the West and the playoffs is an absolute bloodbath. Oh, it's like what the East was last year. It was. It's literally what the East was last year. Like just a fucking bloodbath. Like I know we all fucking hate the Knights. Um, Sharks are done trading us, Curtis. So what happened to Barbie? <laughs> And Shang is announcing or tweeting that the Sharks announced they are done with trade today. It looks like they couldn't move Barabanov. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Barbie. So Barbie will be, if I'm not mistaken, an unrestricted free agent at the end of the year. So you'll get nothing for that. Uh, how about Mike Hoffman? They they weren't they getting anything for that. I how about joking. Philip Zadina? They're, Philip Zadina's an RFA. Uh, how about Jan Ruda? Jan Ruda is not up, I thought, until next year. But. So the guys that were coming in these moves where we were all expecting them to be flipped to okay. get more picks in these drafts. Before everyone freaks out. Hold up. It's really only Hoffman. And that was the main guy that got we got flipped in the Carlson deal and Greer couldn't flip. Everyone else either has one year left or we did not get him through that Carlson trade or through a trade. That's all. Sorry, you can continue now. No, you're fine. Uh, I'm just trying to update the scroll. Also, Ruda has one more year left on his deal, so I'd expect Ruda to be dealt next deadline. Uh, Addison is an RFA. Thrun's an RFA. Zadina's an RFA. Bordelow's an RFA. Justin Bailey's a UFA, but I think they're he he's fine. Carpenter, LeBanc is out, and uh, Barbie. Yeah. But like Barbie demolished his value. If they wanted to trade him, they should have probably done it last deadline. Exactly. If la- if this was last year and he was putting up the same numbers, you probably would have gotten something for him. Um, stop. <laughs> Pat, stop. Okay. They weren't getting anything for those guys. They were awful. Yeah, because they were expecting them to yeah. be better than what they've been this year. That's, that's And the... again, Greer took a bad bet with that. Um, but like, I, I'm not... Okay, there's more on that Ross Levick deal, but I don't think anyone gives a fuck about that right now. Uh, Denver Doyle is Edstrom projected to be a three C. Kevin says yes, Denver. Um, you don't give up this much for a three C. Listen, that's his floor though. 
that's his floor. All those. That's he better, his that better be the floor. That's his floor because the same projections were out for fucking like other players who then progressed higher. So because we always get our boxes. because we always get uh, a player and they always accelerate. Tell me gonna, within the so. development of this organization, who has been low and has risen up by being in the developmental system. They have changed since that regime. Yeah, they have, all right. So, How are the Barracuda doing? Just to right. say. Okay. Sean <laughs> uh, Swenson, New Jersey, should have found some way to find Ruta and Kakinen would have needed some salary cap space. Um, you know, you would hope that they will do that. And uh, Sharks need development coaches to get them higher than 3C. Let's hope so. Dana, oh boy, Dana actually has been, okay, Chris Johnson just announced that Dana Meyerson is being traded from doing homework to curl up in bed and cry in exchange for a conditional seventh and future considerations. I love future considerations. Always the favorite part along with cap space. So, Let's recap everything before we get out of here. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna be back at five. Um, Ian's gonna drive that show, and thank God because I'm gonna try not to lose my my conniption unless uh, do that. Uh, and Dana, I don't know when your flight is, but have a safe travel out here. Yeah, safe travel. Uh, Excited to see you tomorrow. Yep. Or finally meet you. Uh, I have not actually talked to Dana. Oh, that'll be fun. It'll be mm-hmm. fun. Um. So we'll talk about last night's trade, Anthony Duclair along with a, a pick going to Tampa in exchange for defenseman Jack Thompson, uh, who was the uh, Syracuse Crunch representative at the AHL All-Star Game in San Jose. Um, and getting a third and getting Tampa's third round pick in that. Uh, you also have um, uh, you also have Redeem Shimmick going to the Detroit Red Wings in exchange for uh, I mean, there's been uh, for Clem Costin, mm-hmm. uh, who had a, who had a career year last year with the Edmonton Oilers. It just hasn't worked out for him too well in Detroit. Uh, you also have Capo Kakinen going to uh, to New Jersey in exchange for Vitek Vanacek. So New, the Sharks now have the tandem that New Jersey had for the playoffs last year. <laughs> Uh, along with uh, Kira Schmid, uh, but Schmid is still there. Uh, you also have uh, a minor league goaltender trade where uh, Devin Cooley, the Los Gatos born goaltender, uh, was with the Rochester Americans. Um, you know they they get a they get Washington's twenty twenty five seventh round pick uh, in in that move. And then, of course, the big whopper of the deal, you know, the fleecing by Vegas. Uh, Tomas Hurdle and two third-round picks in 25 and 27 go to Vegas in exchange for a first-round pick in 2025 and Vegas's first-round pick last year in David Edstrom. Um, I'm trying to pull up Edstrom's stats right now. Give me a second. You Sorry. Um, no, you're good. You're good. So, okay. Uh, Wait, all right. In the SHL, he has in 44 games six goals, 12 assists, uh, 18 points, which is more than Beastad has. For those of all of you who are six goals, uh, 12 assists mm-hmm. for 18 points in the SHL. That's like against men. No, sorry, that's his projected. My bad. That's his projected oh, numbers. Oh, so he doesn't even have those yet. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so my bad. Give me a second. Give me a second. In the actual SHL, he has six six goals, eleven assists, seventeen points in forty two games. So there's that. He plays uh, it's against men. I have to give him that. Uh, let me pull up the comparison. That um, elite prospects. Boone Jenner is his compa- shades of Boone Jenner is his comparison in the elite prospects draft guide. Um, and yeah, I don't know if that made anyone feel better. I'm so sorry. But there you go. Okay. So there you go, folks. And somehow Vegas still has their 2020 for first round pick. (laughs) 
Uh, yeah, Jennifer, I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Uh, we have to land celebrating our rebuild as toast without him. No, 100%. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So be uh, be there for that, for sure. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, it really does help us out when uh, these things happen. And, and if you weren't watching us earlier, you, you did not see this on an, on an epic day. On an epic day in San Jose Sharks history, fun must be always. Tomas Hurdle, one of the most likable uh, players in Sharks franchise history, has now been traded to what used to be a former rival in the Vegas Golden Knights. Now they just fleece us uh, in in these moves. Um, we will be back at 5 p.m. Oh, Pacific time. To break down league wide, I'm sure Ian's going to have some things to say about this hurdle trade. I would suggest not wearing headphones for that episode because you will not have eardrums by the end of it. Um, Anyways, you know, and um, you know, if and Vincent Alvarado saying, you know, we'll wonder if the hurdle the trade if hurdle struggles, you know, it, it is, but still, um. Yep, and uh, Ryan P. in the chat. Uh, the Sharks currently have $38 million in cap space this offseason and $65 million in the offseason after. You want to rebuild, Sharks fans? Welcome to the future. Um, I, I would also like to say one of my friends who doesn't follow me at all was checking in on me because she's everyone's upset right now about the hurdle deal. This girl does not know hockey at all. And, yeah, anyways, that's... I'm shocked everybody knows. I mean, they're talking, they're literally, they are literally talking about Steph Curry's ankle on the four sports stations out here in the Bay Area. Yeah. Anyways, but there you go. So with that, I think it is time to wrap this one up. We appreciate each and every one of you joining us on this uh, special Trade, countdown to the trade deadline and boy howdy has it been uh, a very very interesting one in case you missed it or you want to watch this again uh, check us out on tealtownusa.com or your favorite podcatcher if you get this most likely won't be on the audio side uh, unless requested uh, on the YouTube uh, hit that like button uh, I mean there's there's 149 of you here. Let's let's at least get up to 70. Come on, let's go. Oh, damn. Thank you for all tuning in. Uh, yeah, we, we hit a point of almost 250 at one point, uh, Jules. Great. Yeah. Um, make you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Cat, uh, hit that uh, that notification bell. So that'll let you know when we do go on at 5 o'clock for this uh, special. So um, I know we have a lot to talk about later on but jules your final thoughts until then i know everyone's upset that hurdle's gone but this is a rebuild and unfortunately this needed to happen two years ago but uh you know the best way i can tell you to think about it is you're getting two pieces of your core if everything lands properly <laughs> people are coming the the players are coming uh, now Help is there, and this year and next year, we will all struggle together, and we will be here for therapy sessions. We got it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be back with you at 5 p.m. Pacific to break down the entire trade deadline. Hopefully we'll have some fun as well. So until then, thank you, thank you, thank you. Always remember to teal together, everyone. Have a good one.